children i welcome all of you to this class last class we discussed roman numerals and the conversion of roman numerals today we are going to discuss the comparing numbers comparison between two numbers Listen, how many digits are there in 
has more digits? First number. Because it has 7 digits. And this one has 6 digits. You can say that 28,94,567 is greater than 7,89,200. 36. We use these symbols for comparing. Great for greater than and less than. We use these two symbols. Okay. First rule is check the number of digits in given number. Which number has more digits? It is greater. Okay. But there is a problem. If the given numbers are same number of digits, what can we do? Then the second rule says that if the given numbers are same digit, first we count the digit from the extreme left side. We take the extreme left side of the numbers. Example. Count the number of digits. 6. 6. Both number has 6 digits. Then what can we do? Check the first number from left. Which one is 5? Here also. Here 6. 5 now 6. Which one is extreme left side? 5. Here 6. In this, which one is greater? 5 or 6? We know 6. Then we can say that 63, 6,31,400 is greater than 5,21,300. Did you understand? If the given numbers are same number of digits, we, come, we take the extreme left side of the extreme left side digit. Then compare between them. The left side digit, which one is greater? That is the greater number. Okay. Then these numbers also same. The extreme left side of the number also same in both numbers. Then take next digit. From extreme left side, take the next digit and compare which one is greater. Example 676281011 and 675. Okay, this is the 
comparison. I repeat. First count the number of digits in the given number. Which number has more digit? It is greater. This is the first row. Then the number of digits are same in the given numbers. Then what can we do? Take the extreme left side of the digit. Ex extreme left side dig digits in each number and compare them. Then which one is greater? That is the greater number. It also same. Then take the next digit. Okay. Then proceed this manner till you reach the rightmost digit. Children, we covered the chapter large numbers. Let us revise topic wise. First we studied uh, Indian system of Indian place value system and international place value system. Then rounding numbers, successor and predecessor, Roman numerals, comparison between two numbers. Uh, here um, let us do more problems relating to this chapter. Take your notebook and pen and write with me. Listen here and write with me. Okay, get ready. First question relating to Indian place value system. Okay, listen. Okay. 
Ahmad plus three into one lakh plus eight into ten thousand plus three into thousand plus here no digits then one place digit is nine nine into one one value of one place is one we can write twenty lakh plus three lakh plus eighty thousand plus Three thousand plus nine. This is the expanded form of this number. Twenty lakh plus three lakh plus eighty thousand plus three thousand plus nine. This is the expanded form of this number. Did you understand this model? First, write the number name, and the expanded form is like this. Okay. Then next question. Relating to international place value system. Next question relating to international place value system. We can use comma to separate periods. Then first period, one period. Then next period, thousand period. This one is million period. Mm, we can understand easily. Here thousand period has three digits. Then we can understand it is in international system. Then how can we write the number name in international system? This period represents million period. Then how can we write? Thirty-two million. This one is one place, ten place, hundred place, thousands, ten thousands. This one is hundred thousand and million, ten million. Then we can write thirty-two million, thirty-two million, thirty million plus two million. That is thirty-two. Million, thirty-two million four hundred eight thousand four hundred eight thousand three hundred forty-five three hundred. Forty-five. Sometimes given the question like this. Did you understand the number name? Writing number name in international system. Okay. Maybe question is given like this. Thirty-two. Four hundred eight, three hundred forty-five. Insert comma as per international system. You want to insert comma to separate period. Then what can we do? Take the one period, then put comma here. Then next period, comma here. This one million period. Okay, that is another point. Then next question, give. The place value of the rounded number. Place value of rounded digit. Give the place value of rounded digit. First one. Place value of three and 
place value of 3 in both system. In Indian system, we can say 3 into 1 lakh. Then what is the price value 3 into 1 lakh? 3 lakh. In international system, it is in 100,000 place. International system, 1 tens thousand, uh, 1 tens hundreds, 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. Then, what can we do? 3 into 100,000. That also, 3 lakh or 300. 3 lakh we can say in Indian system 3 lakh. But in international system we can say 300,000. What is the number name? 300,000. Place value is 8. But we can separate like this. In Indian and international system by using comma and number name of this number in Indian system is 3 lakh. In international system it is 300,000. Okay. Don't confuse between these two systems. Then next question from successor and predecessor. Did you understand? Okay. Next question from successor and predecessor. Right. Before and after. Successor means after number. Predecessor means before number. Right. The predecessor of. Write the predecessor of 3,21,787. How can we write it? Get the predecessor subtracting 1. By subtracting 1, we can get 6, 8, 7, 1, 2, 3. This is the predecessor of this number. Then, we can get the successor also. How? Add 1. To this number. Then what is the number? If we add 1, the number will become 8, 8, 7, 1, 2, 3. This is the successor. Then, next question from comparing numbers. First question. Check how many digits are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which one is more digit? This one has more digit. Then we can say that this one is greater than this number. Then how can we read this one? 1 through 32 lakh 123. How can we read this one? 86 lakh 32,489. Then 1 pro 32,123 is greater than 86 lakh 32,483. Did you understand? We count the number of digits. Then this has more digits. Then we, we, we find this one is greater. Okay. Next question relating to rounding numbers. Relating to rounding numbers. We round numbers to the nearest ten, nearest hundred and nearest thousand. Okay, let us do each, uh, one example for each First round nearest ten.
first number first number 8745 we want to round to the nearest now nearest 10 first we take the ones place digit for rounding to nearest 10 take the ones place digit which one 5 then compare with 5 the mid mid point of two number is 5 we take mid value as 5 then 8700 8745 this number lies between 8740 and 8750 then take the ones place digit which is 5 then compare with 5 5 is equal to 5 then we round to the next multiple of 10 which is the next multiple of 10 If the number is less than five, we round the previous multiple of ten. But if the number ones place digit is more than or equal to five, we round to the next multiple of ten. Then what is the next multiple? Multiple eight thousand seven hundred fifty. This is the uh, right answer. We round this number to the Say eight thousand seven hundred fifty. This is the rounding number to the nearest ten model. Okay. Then next nearest hundred. Let us let us take this number for rounding to the nearest hundred. For rounding to the nearest hundred, what can we do? Did you four digit? Take the tens place digit. Four rounding nearest to ten. Take the ones place digit. Four rounding nearest to hundred. Take the hundred uh, tens place digit. Then this number is lies between what is the uh, multiple of hundred here? Eight thousand seven hundred. Eight thousand eight hundred. Then. This number is lies between eight thousand seven hundred and eight thousand eight hundred. Then take the tens place digit. Which one? Four. Four is less than five. So we round to the previous multiple of hundred, which is eight thousand seven hundred. Did you understand? Okay, write this one. Next one, round rounding numbers to the nearest thousand. We take this one as example. Then, what can we do for rounding to the nearest thousand? Take the hundreds place digit. Then, this number lies between. Two multiples of thousands, that is eight thousand and nine thousand. Then take the hundreds place digit, which one is seven. Seven is greater than five, so we round up up next multiple of thousand. Then what can we do? This number is rounded to nine. Thousand. This is the rule for rounding numbers to the nearest ten, nearest hundred, and nearest thousand. Okay. Then next question relating to Roman numbers. Convert question. Convert. X C to convert this Roman number to Hindu Arabic numeral. Hindu Arabic numeral. 
represents 100, I represents 1 and X represents 10. Then, what is the number? How can we write the Roman number? XC means 100 minus 10, that is 90. 100 minus 10, that is 90. Then, this one is IX means 10 minus 1, that is 9. Then, what is the number? 90. 90 plus 9, that is 99. This is the Hindu Arabic numeral representing this Roman number. Okay. Then, next one. Convert the Hindu Arabic number to the Roman. 77. 77. How can we convert into Roman number? First take 70. 70 plus 7 is equal to 77. First take 70. How can we write 70? L. X. X. 50. L represents 50. X represents 10. And this also 10. Then 50 plus 6, 10. 60. 60 plus 10. 70. Then for writing 7, what can we do? Write the representation of 5. Then plus 2. That is 77. Then we can write 77 like this. This is the Roman number representing 77. LXXVII. This one represents 70 and this one represents 7. 70 plus 7, 77. Okay, did you understand? Next question, write in ascending order. I will give you some numbers. You want to write the ascending order, the number according to the increasing order. First one. Then we can break this one as smaller number. Ascending 
increasing order means increasing order. Right first a small number, then next number, next a greater number, then next a, let us, uh, in this way. Then first write the six digit number, then compare these two digits. These two numbers here, this one is uh, 7 and 7, then this here extreme left side digit is 1 and here extreme left side digit is 8. Then which one is smaller? 1. Then we can write the next number, this one, 1 8, 1 8, then 745. Then take these two numbers. This has 7 digits and this has 8 digits. So we can write the next greater number is 7 digit number. Which is less than. This one is the greatest number in this. Row. Then, what is that? That is a 8 digit number. That is 1 crore 18 lakh 81,745. Did you understand the ascending, writing the ascending order? Okay. Then, let us do an example for descending order. Right. Descending order number is six seventy eight zero nine two three four. First one six eighty seven zero nine two three four. Then six eighty seven. Then, descending order. What is the meaning of descending order? Decreasing order. First, we want to write large number, greatest number. Then, next, smaller number. Then, next, that way. Then, first, we want to count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 digits are here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here also 8 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 digits. 3, 5, 7, 8. All numbers have 8 digits. Then, what is the next row? Take the extreme left side digits. Then, here 6, 6, 6, 6. That also same. Then, what can we do? Take the next digit from left side. That is 7, here 7, here 8, here 8 and here 7. Then compare, we can take these two numbers. 8 is greater than 7, then first we can take these two numbers. 8 and 8. Then take the next number 7. Both number have has same digit in next left side place then take next place that is here 0 here 9 then we can take the greatest number as this one that is 6 8 7 9 0 2 3 4 greater than this is the Descending order, first we write the large, greatest number. Then next take this one. 6, 8, 7, 
textbook thank you